Hi, I'm out of darts. This week I wanted to show off the new ammo counter. This is V2 from AmmoCounter.com and I just love these things. I bought one, uh, I guess it was about a year and a half ago. This is his V1 and he has cut the size down uh, to about a third, half or maybe half of what uh, they were previously. And these have gotten easier to install, easier to use. It comes right out of the box, ready to go. And uh, this is my Hurricane loadout. And uh, as you can tell, this is the wrong color. So I am going to be ordering a, a, a custom one in this color, this uh, pink, so it matches my blaster. But uh, this version specifically is set up for 85 rounds for the capacity of the ammo counter. And it also has a special unique Zeus tip now he basically redesigned the tip that's inside the Zeus here and has an IRI that uh, has a beam break. So every time that a ball passes through, it counts down. Now this has a, can keep up really fast with uh, how these blasters fire. So despite this blaster being able to fire like 15 rounds a second, the ammo counter will keep up. So you get a live count. And when you've got kind of a larger number of balls, like in a, a Chaos or a Nemesis or the, the Hurricane, it's nice to have uh, that ammo counter and it just looks cool. It reminds me a lot of the Halo days with the assault rifle. You can have this work for a variety of different blasters, so when you buy this it's not just for one blaster and it really doesn't require any modification. It has its own battery source, it's got a 9 volt inside, it's got two simple buttons and an on off switch. The first switch cycles from seven shots to 12, 40, 45, and 85. And I believe there are additional options if you wanted to add them, uh, as well as a reset button. So what I do when I play with this is fill up the whole blaster, which is 85, hit the reset button, it's at 85. And then anytime I manage to top off in a game, I'll just tap that 85 button again. So Ammo Counter also has multiple tips for multiple blasters. So along with the number settings, you can also fit this uh, to a wide variety of blasters. I'll have all of the links and more additional information down in the description. I just think these things are really cool. And he's got these at a really great price point right now. And uh, it's really a thorough, you know, well thought out mod. It came all assembled. All I had to do was open up the blaster to put in this little tip, cut one little flap of plastic and bolt it onto the side of the rail mount. And it made it super simple. This one here is featuring his 90 degree adapter. So what that allows you to do is put it on the side since the top of the hurricane doesn't have that normal, normal space. In the future, I think I'm going to use these on the majority of my blasters. Um, if nothing else, just for how much fun it is to see that number fly down as you're shooting the rounds out. The three and four digit versions are going to be really great for both the backpack proton pack and the uh, 300 round uh, Hera hopper that's behind me there. So let's do a quick firing test. I'll do some little short bursts first just to watch it count down and then I will rock off the rest of the magazine at full, full fire rate and we'll see how quickly it keeps up. I thought I would do a quick look on the update because this is a really neat product and he's making it just for the Nerf community, which is awesome. And it's a huge improvement over just the, the physical size and presence that the, the old one had. And uh, I think it's a, a really great step forward and I can't wait to keep playing with it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Ammo Counter Mark II. Until next time, I'm out of darts.